Welcome to the channel, I'm Lee Burke and in this video we're going to have a look at how to create YouTube thumbnails absolutely free. I'm going to step you through the entire process so stay right to the end and you're going to see some awesome thumbnails that you can create for your channel absolutely free. So let's get into it now. Okay so what you're going to need to do first is get yourself a Canva account. So that's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's free, absolutely free. You can sign up with your email address, uh, jump right in as soon as you've validated your account and you're going to come to this screen that we see right here. Okay, so in Canva, it's really awesome because what you have is a whole heap of pre-designed templates. Um, everything from YouTube thumbnails, which we're having a look at today to uh, channel headers, uh, social media banners, uh, posters, anything you think you want to design, uh, you can do in Canva. It's a bit, little bit different than Photoshop because you can't do the photo editing side of things. Um, you can't create things from scratch, but certainly layering of images, which is what we're going to have a look at today, you can do. Um, and Canva is an awesome option for that. So once you've logged into Canva, up in the right hand side, you'll see this little button that says create a design. So just click on that. And then you either have custom dimensions up here, if you know the dimensions of the design you want to create. Otherwise you can scroll down and look at the different templates that they have built into the system. So for example, we have like a Twitter header, LinkedIn banner, Facebook cover, uh, YouTube channel art, which you may want to have a look at as well. Uh, but today we're having a look at the tutorial YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so let's click on that. And you'll see it opens directly into our uh, canvas page. So it's a blank canvas to start off with. Um, it's also uh, a bit enlarged, but the key thing is that it's the right dimensions for when we upload it to YouTube. Okay, now you may have already noticed that on the left hand side here, we have a whole heap of templates. So the thing to be aware of in Canva is that they have free and paid templates. Okay, so if you don't have a paid account, you're going to want to focus on the free templates in here, but I'm also going to show you how to create an awesome thumbnail from scratch. But let's start off with the templates. So as you hover over any of these, you'll see some of them say free in the bottom right hand corner and some of them don't. So I want you to focus on just uh, looking through but finding the free ones. Unfortunately, uh, you can't uh, filter by free because obviously uh, Canva needs to make money. So they want uh, people to use the paid uh, templates as well. They often include images that are, are paid. Um, sometimes you can select a paid template, remove the paid images and then just use the elements and the design of the template that's actually free. So you can do it that way as well. So what I'm going to do is I actually quite like this uh, making the perfect cup of coffee. So all you need to do is click on the template and it loads directly into your canvas. Now once it's loaded into your canvas, you can move around and you can see that you've got different elements. Okay, so this is the text element and it's in a box so I can click that and then that allows me to make any edits that I want to. Okay. Uh, to change your text, you would double click in there and then you can highlight the text and change it to whatever you want it to be. So let's just call that my awesome YouTube video. Okay, you can change the color if you want. Okay, so it's white at the moment, which is quite a nice contrast against that black background, but I can make that red if I wanted click off and you'll see what that looks like. Now with this image in the background, I'm just gonna have a look so I can click it and just hit delete on my keyboard. So that's one entire image that was there. You can click the undo up here or press Control Z to undo is the keyboard shortcut as well. Um, sometimes you'll come in here and you'll have different elements. So see how there's a black line down here, then you got the background photo, 
the way it's done in this particular template is it's all done as one. So we can actually, if we remove that, we'll remove our text and let's have a look and find another different template. So let's choose maybe this one here and have a look. Let's see what elements once they load. So once again, we've just got the text and we've got the background, okay? So if I delete the background, what I can do is go over here to photos, okay? And I can scroll through or I can do a search. So if you wanted a uh, photo of trees, just type in trees, hit enter, Remember, hover again and make sure you're looking at the free ones. So see these ones here, they say pro on them. So that's if you've got a paid account on Canva. So if I wanted like this forest, nice forest trees, I can do that. I can stretch it onto the canvas like this, just move it around. See how it goes below the canvas, that's okay as well, but we want it to fill up the whole canvas like that. Okay. And they've got my text here and I've got the heart, which is actually a separate element. So might want to make that slightly bigger just to make the text stand out a bit more. Now, the other thing with your text you can do is obviously you've got the color, which I showed you before, but you also have effects on your text. So if you click effects, for example, you've got this nice lift. So it just gives it a bit of a lift. So that's um, with none and that's with the lift on or you could go shadow and with the shadow you can actually choose the uh, shadow color so if you wanted kind of a bit more of a contrast you could like make a red shadow and you've also got the transparency so you can turn it up and make it pop a bit more out like that okay with your text you can um, just grab the corner click and drag to make it bigger if you need to now, the other thing we can do is actually add additional layers. So if there was something else I wanted to add in here, I can go into my elements tab and you've got all different things here. So say I want a, uh, another heart. Let's have a look. There's a free heart here. That's a pro one. That's pro. That one's free. That's quite nice. So I'm going to click on there and I can insert a heart. You can also kind of rotate it like that with this little widget down the bottom and then move it to where you need it to be. Okay, now if you wanted to add a frame around this, one cool way to do that is to go into your elements again. At the top, you've got like just a basic square, okay? Now what I'm gonna do with my trees uh, this is probably not the best example just because just because it's uh, a bit too big for what we need. So I'm going to delete the trees for now and I'm going to uh, this time instead of going into my uh, photos I'm going to go into my backgrounds. Um, now, it's similar to adding a photo to the background, but this time you've got a lot more textures, okay? And they'll snap to the background automatically. Before, when we added the trees, we had to resize it. So if, for example, I wanted to add this nice uh, bokeh here, I can click on that and it adds to the entire background. Now, of course, now this text doesn't pop, so I'm probably gonna wanna make that white or a lighter color. Um, and then uh, this heart doesn't work. So I'm going to, well, we can change the color of the heart. So we could do something like that. Um, we do lose our shadow there on the text because that's red. So what I might do is then go into the um, shadow and make it a bit more of a contrasting color, like a, like a, whoop, like a blue. I changed the actual text. So I want to change that back to white. And then I want to go into the effects and change the um, drop shadow here to a blue. Okay, and we've got a nice bit more of a contrast there as well. Okay, 
Um, now you can add lines if you want to put some kind of lines around here. Um, also in elements, so you've got your lines here, but also in elements, if you scroll down, you've got kind of simple drawn objects there. And you also have um, mono line elements. So if we have a look at all of those, you can add like kind of these nice um, starbursts and stuff like that in as well. So sometimes they might look a bit cool, add a bit more uh, layered texture. So I'm going to add this one here and show you what I mean. So with your layering in Canva, so say I want to kind of put this behind the heart like that. Okay, so I've got the top layer, the circle selected, but it's still in front of the heart at the moment. So what you need to do is just select position up here and just say backward. Okay, and it goes behind there. Now, depending uh, which layers were added on first, you may need to click backward a few times. If you click it too many times and disappears altogether, just click forward until it comes back and you can see it again. So stuff like that is quite nice. Um, now, if you have your own photo that you wanted to upload, what you can do is, let me just find a photo over here. Like say this is a weight loss video and I wanna add this, I'm just dragging this over. You can just either drop it here or just drop it anywhere on the canvas. I've just dragged it over from File Explorer. It will upload and then from up here, uh, you just click on it and it adds it to the canvas. And then you can move it around and do like that, okay? So you can upload any of your own images. Um, with the layering, now unless you have a white background with any graphics like this, you wanna make sure it's a transparent ping. Otherwise the, the white background itself is actually going to come in. Um, so yeah, if you uh, can use Photoshop, you can remove the background of that or there are other services online that will do that for you as well. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that because I don't want that in here. I'm going to rename this to my YouTube video. Okay, now with your text, you can rotate like that as well. Now see how it's gone behind the heart. So position, I can bring that forward until it's on top, okay? And I might wanna just move that over, make that one a bit smaller, or we'll put it under there. So you can play around with the layout. Now with your thumbnails, often it's good to have some type of close up of a face like this one here. So, um, Let's have a look at this one here. Now let's see, so this one's good because we actually have the two separate elements. We've got this background charcoal here behind my YouTube video, and we've got this uh, photo here. So what I can do is, because this is a paid template, um, but I don't want that particular photo, what I can do is just delete that, okay? I want to make this a bit more red um, so it pops out a bit because we've got those other white elements there. I want this in front of, actually I'll just move that down like that. Now again I want to put an effect and I this time I want to put a drop shadow on my uh, text here. So I'm gonna, just going to say shadow. It's already red but I think I want uh, maybe a, a lighter red, something like that. And then I want to put a photo here on the right hand side. So let's just say face. Now it might be your own particular face that you're adding onto the thumbnail. So if you're doing that, upload it the way I showed you just before. Um, but let's see what we have in here. So say this is your photo here. We put it into here. Okay. We'll drag it so it covers the canvas like that but it's cut off a bit here. So remember, we're gonna to have to move it backward like that until we get the way we want. And then I can actually move it a bit to the right just to make it a bit more nicely centered. Okay, and we've got actually a, a really nice 
um, thumbnail starting to come to come uh, come to uh, fruition here. Um, okay, so again, we may want to add some of those social media elements. So um, if we want a smiley, for example, we've got a free smiley here or uh, the winky with the tongue out. Let's add that one on there. Um, these are often good in a YouTube thumbnail. They attract people's attention. Um, so what I might do is just add that up there above there. Move that around a bit just to make room. And you start to get a really good thumbnail starting to happen here. So um, this gray background I think is a bit too much black with the, the black and the darkness in the photo. So I'll actually want to change that and lighten it up a bit. I think a nice contrast with the yellow and the red would be a blue. So I'm just going to choose a blue like that. And then down here I can see that there's a bit of a white gap. So I'm just going to just going to move that back over a bit like that. Okay. And now I think I'm happy. I think I'm ready to download my YouTube thumbnail. So what I'm going to do now is click on this download button up here. It suggests ping automatically. The size is already set for me because when I selected the YouTube thumbnail template, it already knew the size. Then all you need to do is just click download. You'll see this preparing your design. Okay, this will pop up, but down the bottom here, uh, your PNG will download to your downloads file uh, on your computer. Then you can take that and when you're ready to upload your YouTube video, just select the thumbnail and it will be ready to go. So thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you staying till the end. If you found this content useful, smash a like button and subscribe for more content that will accelerate your growth. See you in the next video.